Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kenna and I'm a Cameroonian YouTuber based in Douala, Cameroon. Today we're going to be talking about the differences between a blogger, a vlogger and a journalist. So a lot of people have been asking me like, Kenna, this thing that you do, what is it called? Some are like, is this another branch of journalism? Some are like, oh, Kenna, we're so happy you've been blogging. It's like, it makes you happy and all that. So guys, don't worry. Today, I'm going to tell you the differences between a blogger, a vlogger, and a journalist. And it's going to help you to better understand what I'm doing. And the very first one I'm going to talk about is a journalist. A journalist is a trained professional in gathering news and distributing it to the public. It could be news or it could be any social topic. That's who a journalist is. And you could actually specialize. You could be a political journalist, an economic journalist, a social journalist. Like it just depends on you and what you prefer. For you to be a journalist, you have to have gone to school and got the professional experience, learned all the skills to be a journalist. But there are so many people who talk well and they work on radio and TV and people automatically think that they are journalists, but those people are not necessarily journalists. We call them animators. Back in the day, it was very common when you can speak very fluently and you walk on the radio, you just get a job there and people just start calling you a journalist. But a journalist needs professional education to be called one. And a journalist is a very objective person. A journalist is not going to come and tell you, I think that this is good or I think that this is bad. Journalists will usually just give you the information and let you run with it. Like they're going to tell you, this is what happened, this is how it happened. We are verified. The second one is a blogger. A blogger is someone who owns a blog. And a blog is an online journal or a web page where you write your feelings, you write on different things. It just depends on your preferences as well. You could be a food blogger, a sewing blogger, um, entertainment, gossip, news. And in this case, a news blogger will have to deal with facts. But for any other blogging, it just deals with your personal feelings. Like you can talk about whatever thing you want to talk about as you view it. So yeah, that's what. A blogger does so a blogger is not going to be bothered about let me give you the facts it just depends on you if you're talking about a topic and you feel that you want to give him facts okay you do your research and you give facts but if you're talking about a normal topic where you just want to express the way you feel you feel free to express yourself however you want a vlogger is a video blogger that is he does the same thing as a blogger but communicates with his or her audience through videos like what I'm doing right now so I'm vlogging as I'm talking to you guys because I communicate with you through a video so yes a vlogger is a video blogger and it's just the same thing I talk about different topics I give my opinion on different topics there are certain things when I want to talk about if I want to talk about something that has to do with facts I go and do research and then I come and give the facts to you and with a vlogger I'm not no you're not you're not being objective if i hate something i feel free to come and tell you i hate this thing if i like something i feel free to come and tell you i like this thing but with a journalist you don't have a stand you just sit and you tell them the information as it is and leave your audience to be the ones to decide one of my viewers watched a video and she asked me this question she said kenna i love this topic that you treated uh, but you weren't i did i don't think you touched everything she was talking about the topic on my job search experience in cameroon she said i didn't feel it because you didn't talk about all the difficulties people go through when they're job hunting and i told her my dear i wasn't talking about everybody i was talking about my experience you could share your experience to people and tell them to come and share what they think or they tell them to come and share their own experiences under the video so i told her that my dear no i wasn't talking about general i wasn't talking about job search experience in cameroon as a whole i was talking about my experience but i could also decide to talk about the job search experience in cameroon as a whole and in that part i'm going to do my research and i'm going to talk with a lot of facts but when i'm talking about me i'm just going to talk about how i feel and there's something I want to talk about before I go and it's the aspect of all these social media journalists like it gets me so upset There are so so many social media journalists these days 
some people just feel that since they have a lot of access to information it means that they are journalists so they can just post it out there and they don't even verify the information at the end of the day you come and see that it was a lie that it really gets me upset especially as we're going through this crisis in our country right now there are so many people who just sit in their bedrooms and just form stories and start sharing to people at the end of the day we don't know what to believe i even stopped reading some of those messages because at the end of the day you just discover that there's no truth to them so i just want to tell all of you social media journalists please if you want to even start spreading some of those your information please first of all verify and if you cannot verify it's okay to leave it when the real information comes out we're going to know and they don't even know like huh oh, it's so annoying like you see all this thing of posting big pictures it is completely wrong because you as a journalist you don't post those type of things there are certain it's not everybody that can take certain images you have to <sighs> i'm annoyed <laughs> you have to inform the people who are about to watch like this is these are graphic pictures if you know that you don't like graphic pictures don't watch it because some of those things really get to me because i'm one of those people that if i see certain things i'm going to have nightmares i cannot take it so please all these social media journalists stop it like just stop it <laughs> i hope you now know the difference between a blogger a vlogger and a journalist and let me say it again for those of you who do not know i am a journalist by profession and now i am blogging and doing youtube for those of you who have not subscribed please do subscribe before you go just click on that red button like it's two seconds and it's free hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you next time love you guys bye